Hi, I'm Kelly Holmes with What They Think of Printing News, and we are here at the Fast Signs Annual Convention and have the pleasure of talking to the Fast Signs franchisee for Bloomington, Indiana. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, appreciate it. Tell Thanks. Us a little bit about you and your business. Uh, well, we are a co brand, so we have two businesses. We have Midwest Color Printing, fully digital print shop, and then uh, five years we came on board with Fast Signs. So we knew that uh, we were seeing quite a uh, bit of sales increase on some wide format. Uh, Prince, so we decided to go all in uh, with the co-brand function, and uh, it's been a great fit so far. So you brought in the sign segment of the market mm -hmm. about five years ago. Correct. Correct. Okay. Awesome. And how did you see that change your business? Um, well, it was a great thing because we had this, you know, with our small format print, we had this book of business, this book, these customers, and then you basically take your product line of this and you expand it to this. So we're offering, you know. 100 fold times the product to our, our customers. So it was a great fit and kind of marriage together mm -hmm. that we're able to increase our sales pretty rapidly, uh, instantly, just because we have more products to offer. So it was a good fit. So was it the same person that you usually spoke to, the same marketing person that would be buying the signs, that would buy the prints, or how did you see it that? It can, it can. Um, you know, a lot of marketing, yes, there's a lot of marketing, but then you start diving into the operation sides of businesses, um, and those are the folks that are out there, um, you know, maybe it's something they want to add to the building or safety signage or something like that, or an exterior signage. They're usually the ones that handle that as well, so you're actually expanding your contacts. It's very easy to get a referral. You know, you have a good relationship with marketing. You can usually say, hey, how about your operations guy? Can, is it, would you mind if I you know, got his name and speak to him? You know, we have, probably have some things here that we can offer them, you know, that we've had a good relationship with you. Can we just expand it? So you know, the, the, the folks that you talk to, yes, it's still the marketing folks, but there's a lot of different ones out there. And so you kind of expand your footprint on those customers. Awesome. So after you co-branded and mm -hmm. now looking back five years you know, since that mm -hmm. time period, how has it literally changed your business? Uh, I tell you what, um, the biggest thing I think in terms of changing our business is how we're visualized out in the community. Um, I think the Fast Signs brand and the name obviously carries a lot more weight than Midwest Color Printing in our digital, you know, and the, and the marketing best practices and things of that nature. But I think we're a, a lot more visual out in the community uh, with that brand, and it's really really helped in that you know we're getting more of those calls more of those leads things of that nature that now fast signs is bringing in those leads for those products now we can offer them the small format print items as well now so it kind of has that fit again nice what is one of your favorite projects that you worked on last year uh last year in fact uh just one one of the uh awards for fourth quarter was the evolve project mm -hmm. and basically what this is it's a humongous student complex. It's a luxury student complex in Bloomington, right next to Memorial Stadium, which is a football stadium, next to Assembly Hall, legendary basketball facility. And this project basically, I think it was 751 bedrooms on this project. So we go in, we outfit for all the ADA signs, for the room signs, uh, art murals throughout the building, uh, direction signs, because it's such a, such a large complex, directory signs to get people going where they need to go, uh, exterior, um, in many different fashions because it's such a it takes over a city block that they have multiple entry points so you got to make sure their people are visually know that this is evolved so you got to get those uh, you know the, the monument signs out into those uh, entry points as well so uh, quite a bit of uh, different array of products uh, for that specific uh, project what do you think about the convention actually the convention's great uh, you know there's it's one of those things where it kind of reignites your mind. You know, there's certain things that you need, you sh probably should be doing, or maybe you you know, you need to do them, and they just slowly maybe slide off your business plan. But it kind of gets those gets you thinking again mm -hmm. about different items and new things that are coming up that you hopefully you can implement in your business plan or or implement into your shop. So uh, they're there to help help you. So you know, overall, in just a half a day, I've got a list of a few things that we're gonna implement already. Nice. So, so uh, well, you've got a to-do list when yep. you go back. Ready exactly. To go. Exactly. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining. Okay. I appreciate yes, having you. All right. Thank you.